Hello everyone, this is Allison Burt from Allison Burt Graphics, also known as Silver Summer Song on DeviantArt, better known as Summer on there though. And today I will be showing you how I do my hair on this manipulation that I am in the process of working on and recording it, so you have that to look forward to as a time lapse video. And um, this week is a hair tutorial, next week I'm hoping to get a prep and repaint uh, tutorial out and this video as usual is only going to be about 10 minutes long ish but you can find an hour long version on my patreon page and so let's get started as you have seen i have just started sketching out a rough base and kind of shape to the hair i had so many problems with this i couldn't get it to look how i wanted it at all so you get to see um, probably like two hours of work in a matter of two minutes. <laughs> so it should be noted that this has been sped up quite a bit and mostly just so I don't bore you guys to death, but this doesn't come right away. And even though I've been doing hair since forever, um, since I've been doing art technically, though when I first started I did smudge my hair anyway, um, hashtag 2010 um <laughs> it should be noted that this is not a quick and easy process i will say it does not usually take two hours for me to sketch just a base but i could not get the shape right but as i'm re-watching this i think it was just my perfectionist side coming out i don't know if you guys ever ever have had this happen but sometimes I will look at things and I'll be like, oh, it probably looked better when I was really angry at it. But anyway, I finally settled on a main shape and now I'm working on the tail, which went smoother than the main, if I can remember. This one only took me about 15, 20 minutes to sketch. Um, to sketch, I use a default hard round brush with Photoshop and I vary the size and I do use a tablet. I am using an Intuos Pro medium tablet and so if you know what that looks like then you know it will, it has six hotkeys on the left and I know a lot of people who don't use their hotkeys which is fine but I have mine programmed such that I have a control Z <laughs> because control Z is very important and um, I have a color pick, which is just alt when you were on the brush tool. And then my last two keys on the top. Oh, do I have, I'm oh, just kidding. I have eight hotkeys. Sorry. Um, the last two keys on the top, um, decrease and increase my brush size. So my fingers are constantly just hovered over those buttons. And if you don't know the shortcuts to decrease and increase your brush, brush size, it is the right um, square bracket that is next to, to the left of the backward slash um, that will increase and the left square bracket will decrease your brush size so learn something new every day um ironically well not ironically it's not irony but um uh, kind of funny is that I am doing a hair tutorial, but I kind of changed my hairstyle while I was doing this hair, which I am constantly changing though. So, um, here I am trying a new thing. I usually start with my shadows in pr previous videos you may have noted. This time I started with my highlights. Um, don't ask me why. I just kind of did. <laughs> and I don't know if I like this new style, so I might just revert back and then that would call for a new video. But um, for the most part, it's all generally the same. The thing that gets people hung up on hair, in my opinion, is the shape. The shape is so important, which is why you saw me spend, um, well, you only saw me spend two minutes, but I spent a good two, three hours on it because that's what will make or break. You cannot shade shape that will that just doesn't work whether it's too stiff or it doesn't follow the movement of the horse or it doesn't make sense in the piece um these are all things you need to consider and while it can be boring and it doesn't seem like a very gratifying task it will help you so much in the end if you don't have a solid foundation you will not be able to build anything upon it 
Um, so here you can see that I am putting in my highlight and I am utilizing my hotkeys to increase and decrease my brush, brush size to begin to build depth. Now this is one of the biggest mistakes that I have seen personally in artists and that I have done um, as well is that sometimes we get hung up using the same brush size. Sometimes we'll use a really small brush for all our strands and the thing that happens with that is everything starts looking really uniform and that's when it starts looking flat. So if you um, vary your brush size, which is, becomes a lot easier with hotkeys rather than having to always slide it up and down as you're working, um, it, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, it will add depth to your hair like you would never imagine. Um, have your large brush strokes begin to, um, suggest that there are strands underneath while using your smaller brush strokes to, define little strands and in that way it is important to say that I one of my favorite artists that I watch on YouTube Lockery Fine Art um go check her out and she's a traditional art traditional artist for the most part um focusing in colored pencil but one of my favorite things that she says is don't do detail for the sake of detail because not all detail is created equal um the thing about um, hair in particular is it's rather random while at the same time being, um, while still following the same general flow, which can be difficult because you can obviously not just scribble all over the place, but you also can't just repeat the same stroke over and over without looking like you have very flat hair. And so you can see that maybe that's why I was trying to do the highlights first because shadows can sometimes be hard to see and the highlights are easier um, to start building in those strands. I still don't know how I feel about it though. Um, so tip one is increase and decrease or vary your brush sizes. Tip two would be to vary your opacity, which is a lot easier with a tablet when it comes to um, opacities because then you don't really have to worry that much about varying it. You can just vary the um, lightness and the pressure you're putting on your tablet that is. And um, third tip is to pay attention to your base. Get a solid foundation with your sketch and I feel like I did all those tips out of order but I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm hoping I get my point across. So here you've seen that I've put in my shadows and which is the same thing as how I put in my highlights. All I did was I put shadows in between my highlights and now I am adding the defining highlights. And this should also be noted that even though you see these steps being taken as I'm varying my, um, my brightness and my colors, um, you don't want to paint over the same places with every color or else it defeats the purpose of the prior layer. Like what good is it to put down one layer and then just paint right over it with another layer? It doesn't add depth. It doesn't really do anything. You're just kind of wasting your time at that point. And so you have to be careful as you're adding more and more layers that you are doing it with a purpose. I kind of think of it as the first layer. You're just trying to cover all the hair. You're trying to get the base down and then you're trying to just get some strands down and then as you are getting brighter or darker as it calls for you want to start refining your detail you want to start deciding where you want to pull out the hair str the strands of hair and where you want the hair to recede back into the distance and kind of suggest that there's various layers underneath also side note here you're just seeing me start to match it with um lighting and here it's a multi-toned hair two-toned and so I took a white and um, a brush and I just started painting and I used a layer mask for those who don't know how to use a layer mask I will quickly explain the layer mask is so cool you just put it over the layer and then where you paint on the layer mask in black it will um, essentially erase that layer part and where you paint with it white it will reappear and so it's kind of a non-permanent way to erase things and it's super helpful um i'm sorry i'm very scatterbrained right now and then so for the two-toned hair i took a round brush i used a round brush for all of this which is so surprising that i did not use my favorite brush um 
and I just painted in where I wanted my white strands and then I set it to overlay and then I also desaturated it for some of it because it was a little bit too orangey particularly in the tail and so that is about it thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions be sure to let me know in the comments below and if you'd like to see more of these videos like tutorials give this video a thumbs up and tell me what else you'd like to see from me i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you next week bye Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and DeviantArt under Silver Summer Song. Everything else you can find me as Allison Burt Graphics. And um, as I was saying, that if you'd like to see a slowed down version of this video and with voiceover still, so it's just more detailed, then head over to my Patreon page and you can pledge five dollars a month, and I'd really appreciate it. And you also get some exclusive photography stock that I have taken. Right now, I have deer stock and I have of two packages of horse stock so go check that out bye